I'm Melissa. And I'm Jason. Welcome to Wine and Horror. Wine and Horror. Okay, guys, uh, welcome back. Um, We're still, like, loving on our beautiful... Chardonnay. From yeah, from Wyoming. Naomi. Oh. Naomi. I thought... I, Wyoming. Whatever, you know. Let's forget what she said. Whoops. Anyway... <laughs> Um, it's the first time I ever had it, so I'm not real familiar with it. So, but I'm getting very familiar with it right now. So, That's right. so and, and wait a minute, I got to tell you guys something. I know I look like a hot mess right now. My hair is all messed up because we've been traveling, and I'm very road trippy. And we got here late, and I'm I'm tired. And to be honest with you, do you think I care what I look like right now? I really don't care. You know, um, because I'm not going to see the president, and I'm not going to see the pope, and I'm not going to see Bruce Campbell. So. It's all cool. Carry on. Stop it. You're beautiful. I got a greatest husband in the world. Anyway, so in this video, um, we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, uh, we kind of previewed in the last video that uh, this is a game that we like to take with us, especially when we're on the road. We like to play this at home too, but uh, uh, we like to take it with us on the road because it's simple, it's compact, uh, it's a card game, and uh, it travels well. So um, uh, this is called Guillotine. And uh, it's a Wizards of the Coast game. Um, who, of course, they make a lot of card games, right? Uh, Magic he says Gathering. guillotine. I say guillotine, but whatever, right? Sorry. I'm not French. Tomato, either. tomato, whatever. Um, so anyway, uh, we're gonna get into um, this game. It's uh, it's a series of three round, uh, three rounds that you play per game. Um, we're gonna show you probably one round because the show you to the video the full three rounds would just uh, take way too long. Um, but having said that, you can play a full game in about 30 to 40 minutes. So it's kind of nice in, in uh, that aspect too, because it's not uh, uh, you don't have a lot of have to have a lot of time or commitment in this game, and it's still really fun. So anything else you want to add? Nope. nope. Well, let's get to playing the All game. Right. Now we are playing uh, Guillotine. We're going to show you how to how to do this, play this game real quick. Again, uh, here is the game, and it starts with. The executioner. Make sure you can see that. So here's your little executioner prop. It's just a it's just a cardboard prop. Yeah, you really could play without this, honestly, as long as you know which end you're starting from. So we'll set him here. Um, we have the uh, these white cards. The white cards. There's two decks in this game. The white ones are the action cards, like this. Uh, you can play two to five players. Of course, we have two here, um, Melissa and I. The um, white cards, you deal five to every player to the, at the start of the game. And then you have a uh, the extras right here. And basically uh, those cards tell you what it is that you're going to do in the game. So that, thus the word action cards. Action cards, yep. So, okay. And then you have the, uh, the noble cards, which these are the yellow ones. Um, and uh, these will have different characters, uh, different levels of nobles. Um, and, and uh, assigned point values, positive or negative. Um, so you start out, and these have already been shuffled uh, with 13 nobles. You're supposed to flip them up. Sorry. Show them what they look like. Okay. I will um, turn them towards the camera to. So we're going to go 12. Again, it's uh, it's three rounds. Each round starts with 12 nobles lined up um, in front of the executioner. Okay, and you can see the different point values on the cards as I go. What is that? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, and then the extras will go here in this pile because they will be used throughout the rest of the game. Uh, and then, um, and then we start. In this case, we'll let uh, Melissa go first. She'll start. This is considered day one. You start with 12 nobles. And you start back here and you work your way forward. No, no, no. You start here. Oh. The one closest to the executioner oh, is the yeah. next one on the That's top right. Block. Sorry. That's my bad. So okay. you start here. Um, now, having said that, um, before we get going, um, the idea is to try to accumulate the most amount of points. Uh, every time it's your turn, uh, you will end your turn by taking a noble, unless an action card or something tells you not to. There are also some of the some of the noble cards also have actions on them, 
that can alter the game as well as you go. Each player is allowed to play one action card, and then afterwards they end their turn by, by taking the noble uh, that, that gets executed by the executioner and adding it to their point pile. Again, there are some actions that alter that. Sometimes you can take two, sometimes you can change the order before you take one, things like that, and you'll see that as we go. So we will start day one with Melissa going first. When we get to day two, then I would go first because she went first last time, and then day three she would go first again. Okay, so, so tell me what the Master Spy says on So, that. Master Spy, I'm going to show this to the people. That's the very here. first card. It's the very first card, okay. And he's worth four points. He's a red card, too. That's important. There's different colors. There's gray. There's, or, I don't know if it's black or gray. Uh, there's purple. There's blue. There's green. There's red. I think that's all the colors. Uh, but the Master Spy says, after each action card is played, you move this card to the end of the line. So naturally, I wouldn't want to play an action card because if I did, I wouldn't get four points. It's on the Master Spy. Because so, it would go to the end of the line. Exactly. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the Master Spy. And I'm going to add that to my collection of cards, which I'm going to start lining up right here. I'm going to set the extra cards here, the extra nobles okay. and extra cards. Okay, so now it's your turn. No, not yet. Um, so the other thing that you do um, is all the cards, all the all the nobles move closer to one step closer to the chopping block, um, and then officially uh, your turn ends when you draw an extra action card. Right, so your turn. I got to draw my extra card. Yes, and even though turn. I didn't play a card, I still draw an action card. Yes, you always draw so. an action card unless something, an action on here or in an action card that's played tells you not to. Okay. Okay, so the one that I have here is the count. Uh, it's a purple card. Okay, and the count actually says that uh, if you also end up collecting the countess at some point through this game, um, that uh, this card will actually, instead of being worth two, will be worth plus two additional, so it'll be worth four uh, if you have both the Count and the Countess. Um, I'll look at my action cards quickly and decide if I want to make any changes here or play an action card before um, before I draw. And I am not. I'm going to collect the Count, put it into my pile, and actually I'll put that over here. And I'm going to draw my action card and end my turn. And now it's my turn. So I'm going to play this card. It says randomly rearrange the first five nobles in line. And of course, I because you're over there, I want you to move yes. this for me. I'm going to take the cardinal, which is one of the first five. Because he's five points. Okay. Yeah. So she's randomly rearranging. So let's rearrange them first before That's you fine. take. So what other? Um, I want you to put the negative one in the you, beginning. This one is the fifth card. Right? right. I want the martyr to be in the beginning because I want him to take the martyr. Uh, the piss boy goes next. You actually want this one up front so that you take it. Right. This one's second because that would fall on my turn. Right. Which one next? Piss boy. Piss boy. Then bishop, then the bad nun. Okay. Because obviously the bad nun has more points and I don't want him to be able to get that easily. So I take the cardinal. So she's going to end her turn by drawing that and collecting an additional extra card. And now that's the end of my turn, and now it's his turn. And move all these up, move the tax collector up as well. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of funny too, they've, they've added in some humor, as you notice we were talking about the Piss Boy, the second card here is uh, kind of one of the, uh, ironically a noble, I don't know how you get that, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, the, the Piss Boy ends up in, in the game. So, so um, he's obviously cleaning the chamber pots, right? Yes, I, right. I would so, assume, yeah. Right. So, okay, carry All on. Alright, let me take a quick look at my action cards. Um, I'm going to play this card that says move, this action card says move a noble forward exactly two places in line. Um, and then this is just going to become a discard pile over here that you can't see. So I'm going to move the bishop, who's worth two points, forward two places in line to the front of the line. And then I'm going to collect them and add them these two points to my, my point total. Move all the rest of the cards forward again. Slide so now forward. you can see the martyr. Yeah, I, I'll get them. So now you can see the martyr and the piss boyer in the beginning again because he wants me to try to collect those. So now I need to come up with something so that I don't have to take either. Well, at least I don't have to take the martyr, which is a negative one. I'm going to play this one, which is move a palace guard to the front of the line. And the good thing about the palace guard is if um, you collect them, they end up 
for as many as you have, you get it multiplied by that number of points. So if you've got one palace card, it would be worth two points. If you've got two palace cards, it's worth four points. If you've got three palace cards, it's worth nine points. So naturally, that's a card that I want. So I'm going to discard that one now. I'll hand so me the palace this card. comes over to you. Right, and now I take an action card, and, and that's the end of the, my turn. All the rest of the nobles on the board move up. And there we have it. Now it's my turn again. So, quick look at my action cards that are available to play here. I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to play this action card. It says, uh, put this card in front of you. Any Grade Noble in your score pile is worth one point instead of their normal value. So that's kind of, try to get the light right. That's kind of what that one looks like. Okay, so I play this over here. I'm going to go ahead and collect this gray Martyr Noble card. The gray ones are always negative points, okay? Uh, I said gray or black earlier, it is gray. The gray ones are always worth negative points in every case. Um, so that goes into my pile, but because I have this action card laid in front of me, that means that uh, this actually becomes worth one point instead of negative one. So all the nobles move forward, and I will collect my action card in my turn. I'm going to go ahead and play this card. It says, put this card in front of you and get two points. And then I will go ahead and collect the Piss Boy and collect me another action card, which ends my turn. I'm just going to collect my action card and move everything up. Alright, so we got the Martyr that is negative one. And I've got a card here. Remember what he says on him. I know what he says. What does the uh, lady say? What does the lady Draw say? Draw an additional action card at the end of your turn. Okay, so I got this one that says move a purple noble up to two places in line. Um, the lady that is worth two points there is a purple noble, so I will take that. So she'll go to the front of the line. Which I will take. And then she can draw, or mm -hmm. draw that noble. And because it said when you collect that noble, you get to collect an additional action card at the end of her turn. She would normally collect one action card, but she gets an additional one, so she gets two action cards. Okay, your turn. So I'm going to play um, this action card, which says reverse the order of the line. Okay, so it's very simple. Uh, the order gets reversed. Um, so this one becomes three, this one stays two, uh, and this one becomes one. So the order is reversed. And now the tax collector worth two points in green is in front of me. I'm going to collect that one and collect my action card. Okay. And then I will go ahead and take the rogue spear, which I believe says that the game ends, or the yep. day ends at the end of this. This one's tricky. It's a three-point card, and it does say that uh, the action associated with this is once this noble is collected into anyone's hand, um, the day ends. So if there were 11 other cards out here, they all go in the discard pile, the day ends, and you go to day two or day three, or whatever the next day is, or even in the game if it, if it already is day three. So she'll get those three points. This one gets scrapped into the discard pile because uh, day one is now over. And we're not going to play day two and day three because this video would be 100 miles long, but basically you play three rounds exactly like we played this, and once it's complete, then you add up all your cards that you have here, and whoever has the most points wins. So that's basically how the game is played. That's it. So the reason we like this again is uh, it's it's compact. It travels very easily. Um, and it's a pretty fun game. It seems simple. It is simple. But uh, when you start playing this for a little while, it really grows on you. And, and it, it's, it's quite fun. And there are many, many other twists and turns that can happen with action cards and actions that are printed on the noble cards uh, that you didn't necessarily see here because there's a lot of other nobles and a lot of other action cards that didn't come out here in this one simple hand. So... Um, so that's it for now, and uh, thanks for uh, joining in. I would encourage you to go check out this game. Again, it's it's not very expensive. Um, it travels well. It's easy to play. It's fun, and uh, it's great to uh, we, we like to play this while we're drinking some wine. And uh, hope you guys uh, subscribe, hit the like button, and um, leave some comments. Cheers. Cheers, guys.